Warriors last game before the break, Clay came off the bench for the first time since his rookie year, proceeded to have one of his best games of the season, dropped the season high 35 points in a win over the Jazz. Remains to be seen if he'll be, you know, relegated to that six-man role, but just for you guys on this couch, how hard is it going from being a perennial starter to coming off the bench? Um... Uh, I, I mean, you know, going back to Washington after the, you know, the gun situation and the suspension and, you know, we bring in John Wall, you know, I kind of put myself on the bench, right? Because at that time, it's, it's me, John Wall, and Kirk Heinrich, right? And, you know, you know, we starters. So it was like either we're going to play all small or one of us got to, you know, come off the bench. And I started looking around. He's the franchise. He's Caucasian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the one that just got in trouble. So yeah, let me just go ahead. You know, I don't mind coming off the bench being a six man, right? And so when I went to Orlando, it was kind of easier to accept the role and say, so, yeah, I just come off the bench. So it wasn't like you know the idea came to me and then I had to process the shit. It was already I can see the writing on the wall, and I was like, ah, let me just go ahead, come off the bench, get the fuck on out of here. Okay, how about for yourself? Yeah, no, it was an adjustment. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah, just being used to that role uh, for so long, and no, nah, but but if you're a hooper, man, you can. You don't like it at the time, but but my situation was uh, all our situations are different. So I signed late with the Clippers, so they already had the young guys. So I was I was coming in as another big, so it was it was different. And the same thing with the Knicks. Like, they already had their bigs established. So, Ben, but, but then, you know, um, you still get opportunities during that stretch to start game. So, you still get that that fix when needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, but, no, nah, it, was, it was definitely an adjustment, man. But, it, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm a hooper, man. You throw me out there, I'm going to make plays. So, whether it's starting. And a lot of the times, like, you're going to need me at the end of the game. So, mm -hmm. that's what matters. Rather be a, a finisher than a starter, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure. For sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something about obviously just hearing your name called? And, of course. Yeah, I mean, mean, we grew up Michael Michael Jordan's name. They'd be the Bulls. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's that's it. Say, yeah, right. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear the yeah. Everybody screaming, the lights come out. You little wall, little little, 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 little clap. Right. Yeah. That's way better than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think for me it was when I tore my Achilles and I had to come back. Um, came back to Detroit, they had signed Reggie Jackson, and then I, was, I had to come off the bench. So I wasn't really adjusted or, you know, my mental wasn't there because I still wanted to be a starter and I still felt like, you know, that was supposed to be me. So uh, it was definitely adjustment, then going to the Knicks um, and then playing on Orlando a little bit, coming off the bench. It was just, uh, yeah, I just never kind of got right after that, after I tore my Achilles because mentally, you know, like you said, hearing your name and being a starter for so long was just different. So who's a player that could have extended their career if they'd been more willing to shift to being a sixth man or in the second unit? Everybody? No. <laughs> Every yeah, star? Yeah. I say, yeah, I think there's a lot of things. That's a tough, of, dog. Me? You? Extended the career? Uh, hmm. Well, like you said, a lot of guys just from the mental standpoint. Some people just, I mean, I'm going to just be honest with you. Some stars just ain't meant to come off the bench. Yeah, it's like, just, and I think one in mind that is just like, I dare you ask him to do that shit for one. Mm -hmm. And for two, why would, how could that even come into your, like, y'all was in y'all meeting as coaches or ownership and coaches or whatever, and like, you know what? Guess what? I was talking in. Thinking about, I think I'm gonna have Allen Iverson come off the bench. Like, who? And for who? Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. You, you don't ask that man to come off the bench ever. So certain guys know. It's just, it's just some names. You just hold on to me. And it's more of a pride thing on that standpoint. Like, so you come off the bench respect. or you're tired? Yeah. So you come off the bench or you're tired? Respect. So you come off the bench or you retire? Well, you know what he chose. <laughs> <laughs> the game is the game. You know what he chose. Yeah. So yeah. Nah, See, you, certain guys, you don't... Like the game of basketball, for what you are to the game, people should respect that enough. Coach 
like every coach that you have up to a certain after you accomplish what he has in his league, got to be a certain level of respect. I ain't saying he deserved to play 42 a night like he was. Mm -hmm. So it's disrespectful to ask Russell Westbrook to come off the bench? I, I think so, yeah. Okay. My, my, absolutely, I think so. Okay. Yes. Like if, he even, if he volunteered it like he did with the Clippers, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But to at, go to this man and with the, that Lakers shit, man, I would have been like, fuck that. Wave me, bro. Carmelo Cut Anthony? Me. Huh? Carmelo Anthony? Disrespectful. Yeah. I ain't especially, saying he got to be that. at that time, like he wasn't a bench player. Yeah, I ain't saying he got to go out and play and he, and he has to play his 37 and the 40 that he's been playing tonight. I'm not saying that. But you, you've earned that for what you've given to this game and to the NBA. Mm. That's what I believe. But certain guys earned that. Like, like Shaq never came. Shaq didn't come off the bench at the end of his career. No matter what he was averaging. When he was in Boston, he was starting. Phoenix. 20 minutes a game. And that five, Phoenix five, Shaq. High five, five. Sit down. That Phoenix <laughs> Shaq and that Boston <laughs> Shaq. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Phoenix, Cleveland, Boston. <clears throat> Them two, I forgot the Cleveland. Cleveland, yeah, that Cleveland, he played all, he started. <clears throat> yeah, 50, like, started like Jordan the Wizards, he started. Like, there's just names that just transcend. <sighs> he just, they, they transcend. Wait, no, Michael that. Jordan for sure. But, but he, 39, 40? So, but that's what I'm, Allen but, Iverson of, of our time absolutely Shaq, deserves to be in that conversation. Like, Kevin Garnett. No. Tim Duncan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, LeBron, Brian. like those guys, like we talk, but, we're talking like, about top five guys. Tim, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about top Magic? five guys ever. Magic, Magic came off? Because he came back, like back, like yeah. <laughs> he came back, back. Like, yeah. But I'm just um, going Carl Malone didn't come off the bench, right? It's just, um, who else? Gary I mean, Payton Patrick, came off the bench. Did, did Patrick Ewing come off the bench? Gary Payton came off the bench. The, uh, the, we're not putting GP in the same yeah, he, category. They're not in the, he's not. We have some, we're not in the same category with these guys. No disrespect to GP. Nothing his final season. But no final disrespect. Orlando. Like, like that Orlando year, that's a bad, that, I mean. Right, no disrespect to GP, but he's not in that category that we're talking about. Do you Hell put Clay no. in that category? Fuck no. no. I mean, not to say it like that, but no. He's, no, I don't put Clay in. Even though he has four champions, I still don't put Clay in. Yeah, I got to know like that category. Like, we got to break down that category. Because that category is a little tricky. No, it's not. To the, be able to say that person can't come off the bench. There's a select few of guys. Yeah, a select few. That nobody we named. No, I'm, so we can name them. Right? Just from what, from, from I started watching basketball to when... There's certain guys, right? Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Steph Curry, LeBron James. And that's it. That's top five that right there. That's where it stops. Allen Iverson, that's your opinion. Allen Iverson, you don't ask him to league MVP. So you think league MVPs deserve to come off the bench? One is. Huh? One is coming off the bench. Derrick Rose came off the bench. These are league like MVPs I, that came off the bench. Yeah, but that's but he. But, came but these the, are league. He no, said no, no, league no, no, MVP. No. He said his league MVP. Ear, his ear, his 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 he career said, was basically over after his. I, but you. But he, when he got he, hurt. I mean, he doesn't. Chuck mean. never got hurt for nobody to ask him to come off the bench. He didn't have no injury like that. He went from seventeen to say, "Oh, you got to come off the bench." Chuck a better basketball player than Russell Westbrook. Who? But you, you asked. But what I'm, I'm asking the question. No, no, I'm just you, asking the question. You asked us, was it okay for him to come off the bench? We already said no. So we, we said no, it wasn't okay but, for him to come off the bench. So what they're doing is dumb anyway. Yeah. So we're saying, like if we said yes, it's okay for him to come off. We're saying no. Russell it's, Westbrook, Mr. Triple Double, all those times, no, he should have never came off nobody's bench. Do you know do you know what a bench player is? No, he's not a bench player. No, I'm just I'm just not in this league. <laughs> no, I and neither was Allen Iverson, neither the Westbrook. None of these guys are bench players. Ever. Okay. Like, he went so from, no matter what their numbers are, it don't matter. It's just, hey, you got to start regardless. You earned that in this league. You've earned that. Dwayne Wade came off the bench. Mm-hmm. Hurt. And this man went from, just so we understand, he went from... In Cleveland. No, Westbrook. He went from, he averaged 22, 11.7, 11.5, right? Mm-hmm. In Washington. Came here, 18... Seven and seven was booed. <laughs> was booed. And then came off the bench the next year. 18, seven and seven. 
18, seven and seven, that's, these kids, 200 million for that, 215. He, so, come off the bench. Come on. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, but, I'm, but, but what I'm saying is he accepted it. I'm just saying he no, accepted, accepted it. Accepted but, it now. but it was disrespectful. The question was, was is it disrespectful to ask? So is it yeah. disrespectful to have a guy De who averaged definitely. a triple-double, one, one, two, one, two, three years straight, missed it the fourth year playing with probably Harden, came back triple-double, was the only player that played, he played 78 games mm -hmm. while the other yeah, two stars, yeah. held it up, 18, 7, and 7, and then you bring him off the bench next year. That's not okay. No. I, right, 18, 7, like, if we take his name off of it, you... Okay, he... That, that's that's all-star. No, 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 yeah, that's disrespectful, but I don't know if Chuck was playing that well to be like that's disrespectful for him to come off the bench. Yeah, Allen that, that, that's, that, that's my point. Like, but, I, I don't know. Yeah. So, but look at the numbers. Yeah. Allen Iverson, eight, 18, 18 and 6 in Detroit, and then came off the bench. No, but 18, Denver, no, he went to Denver. The year before we was there. Denver, he averaged 17, and then the following year he came off the bench. Okay. So that's... So there's these... Are, okay. But I'm saying, when you're okay. coming off the For bench, who? Okay. you're not that's, averaging six, yo, seven. They, they're coming off the For bench. For who? That's my thing. Like, who you want Allen Iverson to play behind in Detroit at the time? I mean, well, who they, it no, is? No, that was... Was that Detroit? That was, that was Memphis. I'm saying... That was that Memphis. Memphis. He wasn't starting over yeah. Mike Conley. So Mike Conley was a first year player. He wasn't starting over Mike. That's our rookie. Well, he only played three, three years. Game, only three, three games, games with Memphis because of that. Because of it, yeah. went back. Right, to that's Philly. our rookie. Started uh, twenty four or twenty five games. There. Back in Philly, right? Yep. So that's what I mean. So then went to Turkey after that. They respect the, what he's done for Philly for the league. Ain't no way they going he gonna go back to Philly no matter who they got in position at. Wh whoever is at that spot, mm -hmm. not gonna start over Allen, over Allen Iverson in Philly. I don't give who it is, right? That's what I the respect factor. Yeah, Philly. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Philly. All 30 teams should be that way. No, well, it wasn't. But and that's why the situation didn't work because you're not you don't respect what he has done or respect him enough. That's a respect thing like, at that point. Because it's not a it's not a wind down, <clears throat> right? I can say if you're like some of these guys, it's not a wind down, and you're benching them to wind them down. Like Russell Westbrook is not wind down to be benched. Chris Paul is right he's behind Steph right if you if you put him anywhere else you're not you're not telling him to come off the bench Allen Iverson was better than Mike Conley during that time I, I just offer respect yes that's not what I heard that's not what I heard I mean we I just I'm just saying I heard the training camp was different Training camp. Well, training camp I'm, I'm, and that's where league it, MVP. No, that's no two totally separate. Yeah, things. but we have 82 games this year, and we have a different. So you ain't never been. So so therefore you ain't never been in training camp without Iverson. So you don't know how he operate. No, right? I mean, that's so fine. How you so let me tell you how you do. That year, right? he averaged Mike Conley averaged 12. So he was a rookie, right? So no, therefore, third year player. So therefore, he don't I deserve mean, to start. I don't on know Allen what happens. So let me tell you how Allen Iverson does training camp. He don't work out during the summer. The man <laughs> has a good time, right? Yeah. Sure. First day of training camp, he show up. That ball go up, guess what he do? Let's go. Mm -hmm. He don't come off the floor, he plays his way into shape. Mm -hmm. So whatever you heard, okay, he came in out of shape, he came in, Mike Conley was probably, do okay, cool. As training camp went on, let's, that's, yeah, that, what that, I, that's yeah, the what, I, yeah, what I, happened? I know. Yeah, what they happened? They already put him on the bench. Oh, yeah, but what happened after that? And then what? He only they already had their mind okay, made up. Okay, then he went to Philly and then what? They had their mind made up. He went to Philly and average. Started 24, 25 games. 10 and 6. Okay. Uh, All right. So That's cool for him at that point. Okay. I said, I'm not asking him oh, to no, be the 33 a night guy. guy. <laughs> like, that, that, that ain't what I'm saying. My bad. I got you. Right? He went to mm -hmm. give, uh, in Philly, AI average. He deserved 14. to start to have his name called. He averaged 14. 14 and 4. So, so he have his name called, right? Mm-hmm. Pull me with two, three minutes in and put me back. Like, it's a respect thing at that point. And not enough, not enough guys... Coaching front office have that for the game itself and for guys that's that's paved the way For you to be that disrespectful you for you to ask Russell Westbrook to come off the fucking bitch at any point It's disrespectful ask I don't have to come off at no, any that's point fine. People that's, that's fine, but he expect he accepted it and he but for but he, and he's showing like a pro that, That's no, why you fall the pressure to the he, media. Russ, We're not talking about Russell coming off the bench now we're talking about when he was with the Lakers. With the Lakers. And because it's like, who am I? He, he, he went to the people now and said, uh, I will do this for the betterment of the and team. And I'm doing this, but look who I'm doing it for. Yeah. 
Right. I'm doing it for, okay, I'm going to do it for Harden. And, and okay. I'm PG okay. and Kawhi. Who not, am I doing it for in the Lakers again? Come on now. Nobody. That, but that, that was the problem. Yeah, that's, and you know what I mean. That's that. That's okay. That decision. part. That, 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 that's what okay. we're talking about. That okay. part. This part that's, is he decided to come yeah. off. And okay. it's the same okay. thing with Mike. No disrespect to Mike Conley had a great career. It's the same thing with Mike Conley and Allen Iverson, dog. Mm -hmm. It's the same fucking situation. It's the same thing. You're sitting there looking like what? Mike who? Conley. Okay, he can. He, he, they he said decent. he was fucking AI up. No, okay. Probably. They was when AI. has Allen Iverson been a defensive fucking just, player, hey, dude? I'm just saying, bro. Hey, I'm just saying. So you mean to tell me so? So no, I'm just saying. It's in during, I'm just saying that time. I'm so just saying that time. During that time. So I'm you're gonna, gonna stick up for your left hand and guy and all that shit. Overall, you never I get got it. And they prime Chuck busting motherfucking Mike Conley ass mm -hmm. every day. No, I, came, I came in training camp ready. Oh, I mean, you line them up on their best day. Chuck giving that motherfucker for 45. Sure. I'm just saying so I don't want to hear shit about Mike Conley and the motherfucker out and out what he did in a training camp. Well, that's how, that's like, what I Like, that shit sound fucking ludicrous. That shit right. sound crazy. That's not what I heard. So, One fucking training no, camp. Line them up on their best day. Nigga, carry these Alan motherfucking answer Allen Iverson all day. Allen Iverson all day. Cal that's fine. Carry these like, shoes, listen, nigga. Allen Iverson all day. What I'm saying is, if you ask Nick shit. about him and Kobe in practice, what you think he gonna say? Fuck. <laughs> Bust his ass in practice. There's yeah, a difference. Okay. Carry these shoes, nigga. It's, a, it's, a, it's okay. a difference. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. You know, I, I, I mean, it's. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you ask, yeah, if you ask somebody about me in training camp, I, I barely shot. I'm trying to get in condition. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm a get. Some, some guys are. Ga he's a gamer. But not when you're at the top of your career, yeah, Gilbert. Why not? When, when you when you're averaging 28, 29. Look at my tr look at look at training camp preseason. I barely shot the ball. Okay. When the game when, when it's game time, like look at my numbers in training camp. Okay. Twelve, eight, five, seven. I That's got Blake. I got Blake. I got Blake over here thinking he should be starting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he should be starting. He going by his. He going by uh, training camp numbers. Yeah. He should be starting. Oh, relax. Okay. Third year guy. Come on, man. <laughs>